This question about um, our, our seniors is um, is a pretty is a pretty big one. So we have several different sets of resources related to that. Um, one, we're, we you know I think we have to collectively recognize we're not relaxing expectations. We expect our students um, to master the, um, the the curricular um, expectations of their senior year. Um, uh, so uh, so that is out there. This is the reason why. Um, Creating continuity of instruction to make sure that we continue to support them educationally during this time is pretty critical. Um, that being said, we have had to uh, waive and create some more flexibility um, for the determination of who graduates. So there may be some students, for example, that uh, didn't pass in the EOC last year that were um, in a in a uh, class this year in order to try to, to to take it here in the in the spring, and they won't be able to do that. So. We have a, a process called an individual graduation committee where you can look at other aspects of student work. There's a portfolio a student can do to demonstrate that they've reached that proficiency. Um, our approach is to measure college readiness, and this is really relevant for folks that are you know, going into college because those college entrance exams matter. So we're, tr we're, we're working with um, those um, people like the SAT, the ACT, and the like to make sure that there's the ability for kids to take those uh, exams either remotely or in the summer. Um, uh, and um, and work to support districts accordingly. The other thing I've, I've talked to our superintendents about is for many of us, like the normal graduation ceremonies, not going to happen because um, it just depends on where we are from a public health perspective. So there's a lot of operational uh, adjustments that um, we're, we need to, to um, support for our graduating seniors while, again, uh, maintaining high expectations that they are, in fact, um, you know, They've, they've earned a high school diploma and are ready for the next phase in life. Mm -hmm.